Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. Uh, just the other day I was uh, flipping through Twitter and came across a pretty cool tweet um, that basically somebody made their own graphic for um, talking about the fact that uh, because of the fact Brock Lesnar um, is not going to be competing at the Money in the Bank uh, pay-per-view, um, he is going to be breaking CM Punk's record of the longest reigning um, WWE Championship breaking the streak of over 400 days um, that was uh, set by uh, CM Punk when he held the championship uh, back when he won it against Alberto Del Rio um, at the Survivor Series uh, and he held that belt all the way um, until uh, the Royal Rumble of the next year uh, when he lost to The Rock. CM Punk's title change uh, we, see, we saw him hold that title um, as a, a babyface champion until Raw 1000 uh, when he had the match uh, against John Cena um, and then in that match turned heel um, because of uh, you know just basically cheating to win, The Rock coming in and then delivering um, the GTS to The Rock which would set up um, The Rock versus Punk um, even though it was months later. We saw um, you know, CM Punk hold that championship for a long time when he went through some ups. We saw him go through some downs. We saw him when basically CM Punk was not even main eventing pay-per-views as the champion uh, because John Cena was getting the main events even in a main event against John Laronitis. I will be the first one to tell you that CM Punk's title reign was not the best title reign of all time in WWE, but the title reign that is going to break his is Brock Lesnar's, who is a part-time wrestler. Um, this debate was brought up when actually The Rock was looking like he was going to beat um, CM Punk at the Royal Rumble uh, in 2013. People were saying that this was a travesty, it was going to kill house shows, that uh, you know, a part-time uh, wrestler who was not going to be competing on those house shows was going to hold the WWE Championship. And this was The Rock. Basically, everyone who's ever watched wrestling loves The Rock. Whether it's because of his movies, because they remember how good he was, they remember his promos, they like his in-ring work. The Rock is honestly probably one of the most loved wrestlers of all time. And people were talking crap about him being WWE Champion at the time when he was making movies uh, for the Fast and Furious um, franchise he was making uh, a lot of movies that were going to like number one in the box office you know breaking records left and right and people didn't want to see him be champion now all of a sudden we come to the what, what is now Brock Lesnar um, does not have a title fight um, he's held the title all the way from WrestleMania um, 33 past WrestleMania 34 um, you know he, he was able to get a win in that greatest Royal Rumble um, when it comes down to it that was a pay-per-view uh, title defense that was not even supposed to be because of his contract ending um, after WrestleMania, but because he was champion, Vince McMahon was forced to step up and you know deliver a short-term uh, contract. We don't really know what that contract is, but in my mind, I honestly think that WWE is trying their best to hide the fact that they've signed Brock Lesnar to another regular contract, whether if it's a one-year or two-year deal. I think they're just trying to push this whole thing of Brock Lesnar just keeps defying the odds. Almost like what, like a Hogan babyface? But now he's the heel. Everybody wants him to lose, but yet he keeps winning um, and, and just keeps the title to make people dislike this guy even more, whether that's because they want a guy like Roman to be able to you know, get that Bruno San Martino love uh, by finally being able to beat the monster um, or, or maybe create some new star along the way that out of the middle of nowhere some mid-card guy just gets a shot, takes it, and he wins. And all of a sudden now he's the biggest star um, in, in the universe. Um, to me, CM Punk, you know, he had title defenses against guys like Alberto Del Rio, The Miz, um, John Cena, um, I can't really, he probably had, he probably had matches against guys like Big Show, but he was fighting. There was championship matches on Raw, um, there was championship matches on every pay-per-view. I think CM Punk did miss the, uh, TLC 
pay-per-view due to being injured. But then he came back and had like a big TLC match against Ryback on Monday Night Raw um, that people actually really did care about. And it was sort of like WWE giving back. Uh, even though, you know, people bought the TLC pay-per-view knowing um, that uh, CM Punk wasn't going to be there, they wanted to deliver on a match that they build up uh, that they were not able to pay off, so they gave it away, basically, on um, pay-per-view. Um, and I thought that was pretty cool of, uh, I'm sorry, they gave it away on Monday Night Raw. Brock Lesnar, I don't know, man. I can remember him, like, almost having a match on Monday Night Raw um, against Seth Rollins the night after Money, I'm sorry, the night after WrestleMania 31 when uh, Seth Rollins cashed in the Money in the Bank and they made it look like Brock was pissed and he wanted to get his championship back and Rollins came to the ring but as Brock got in he just took off and was like fuck it, you know, I'm not, I know you're not going to be on Monday Night Raw next week and I'll just see you when I see you which ended up being Battleground um, down the road months later and Undertaker ended up saving uh, the championship for Rollins. Um, but, uh, you know, this run from Brock, I mean, he's had some matches here and there, um, but he's only had 10 title defenses in over a year. And some of those title defenses count as, like, the house show matches against Rusev, against The Miz. It's not like, um, you know, he's really going out there and having 10 pay-per-views uh, along the way. Uh, it's just sort of here and there along the way probably the biggest match that he's had um was uh the he's had uh the one match against uh Samoa Joe I think he had uh, the one match against Braun Strowman he had another one against Braun Strowman and Kane um besides for like maybe the five way um at, or it was a four way I apologize I always want to put one more person in there um the the four way at SummerSlam um uh, and then you also had the uh the match against uh Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, I don't think that there was ever a match along the way that people really thought he was going to lose. Um, this title reign definitely in my mind is something that he might break the record and he might set a record like so high that people really never think it's attainable um, to get to. Um, I, I, I know that when Punk set his and they made that plaque, I never thought they were ever going to be able to to break it um but you know brock you now not being on monday night raws and not being on every pay-per-view um pretty much had a you know set way um to to, to get the whole way there uh, you know basically just have the record handed to him so um this reign that once it is finally broken I'm, I'm guessing that maybe finn balor can hopefully win um the money in the bank and um from there uh he'll uh cash in and become the new champion something i've been rooting for for I, I think i really wanted finn to have a match at tlc and then people said that he didn't get the match at tlc he'll get the match at uh, survivor series and then it came out that finn was never going to have a match with brock along the way uh but finn kept pumping it out on twitter basically saying that he wanted a match but i think everybody wants a match with brock because i think it's going to be big money but um somebody's going to finally beat this guy and until then i want everybody to know this title reign is crap